I'm Rachel Padilla. I'm an artist. Welcome to the studio. I'd like to share with you today the inspiration and process of my latest painting. I call it Yipe. Usually inspiration is something I have to work at, to cultivate, but not this time. I literally just dreamed it. And when I woke up from my dream, I grabbed myself an index card, a marker, and some crayons, and I set to work to recreate exactly what I'd seen. This. While my first test was only in crayon, it really provided a proof of concept. I was happy with how it looked. So I wanted to do another test in materials that I use more frequently, like acrylic and crank on canvas. And with that, test looking really successful. I wanted to go even bigger. I don't typically work in patterns, but I felt like this piece could really bridge the gap between my more recent explorations of uh, typography and logos and pop culture with my self-portraits. And the whole reason that I started working with logos, typography, and um, pop culture references was to expand my horizons, to push the boundaries a little bit of what I'm comfortable creating. And I find that this is a practice for seeking inspiration. Work creating more work, essentially. It's like Picasso said, uh, inspiration does exist, but it must find you working. Well, this piece is a stylized motif or pattern of clouds in a sky. It does seem to fit in with my current series of work. They call me Coyote. Which is largely about um, my personal experience growing up half Hispanic, half white, kind of walking in between these two worlds. But also includes the inspiration from Animal Man number five and Wiley Coyote. Now in theory, um, Wiley Coyote is kind of represented in Animal Man number five. So they too walk between two worlds. One of the really interesting things that I found in Animal Man number five and Wiley Coyote cartoons is that they often interact with their own creator. Um, they're aware that there are drawings in a cartoon or a comic book. And in my series, I serve as both the creator and the coyote. My painting of clouds itself kind of lives in two worlds. The first that I dreamed of, and then the reality that I painted it into. The final element in my painting is made out of plywood and painted in a very shiny silver or aluminum colored paint 
and the details are drawn in with crank. It solidifies itself, so to speak, in yet another way that I relate to Wiley e. Coyote. He often sets himself up for failure during his scheming. And perhaps this anvil serves as a symbol of self-destruction and it hangs central in my stylized sky, thankfully unable to fall on my head from its world into mine. I thank you so much for joining me um, through the inspiration and construction and creation of my latest painting. Thanks for watching.